Uh, I'm here today with uh, Karim Khan. Karim, thank you very much for your Hello. time today. Um, so, well, how have you been recently then? Yeah, I've, I've been really well. Now, your film is called Turn It Up. What is it all about and how did you come up with the original idea for the film? Okay, um, yeah, Turn It Up. A very, very special part of, you know, of, um, of my, of all my work. Um, <clears throat> Turn It Up. At the time, I just felt that young people weren't given an opportunity to understand their rights. Like, like what? For Riz, example, how many you? how many rights do you know? Children's rights, I don't you know? know. Not many, to be honest. That's the thing. You have a right to have your views taken into account. You have a right to so many different things, and young people don't even know about them. But the film focused on one right, and that right is to have their views heard. So what I did. So I went to different organisations, different groups where young people had that opportunity. So I said, OK, you've got this right. Let's see it in practice. Let's see it happening. So I went to hospital places where they did, um, where they had patients doing projects. I went to um, children in care who had been um, in, in the care system, having their views on things like that. So it was such a great experience. I learned so much about it. Um, how successful do you think this one can get if you promote it any longer? See, that's the problem. You know, I made that film and I kind of just left it on, a sh on the sh shelf for a while. I know so many people have seen it and so many people are doing so much good work with it. And I'm ever so grateful for that. Mm. But I haven't actually physically said, OK, here's my DVD. I'm going to get up. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make young people watch it. I haven't done that yet. And that's what I hope to do. I hope to go to all the schools in Oxfordshire. I hope to go to different youth clubs and all these many places and get young people to watch this film and get inspired by it. Like I said, a film is to inspire young people. Now, your film was also screened at the <laughs> Phoenix yep. Picture House in Jericho. What was the experience like? And also, what was the crowd reaction like? Because, referring back to bouncers, what was bigger? What was the bigger crowd reaction? What was the bigger experience for you in later life? Two different experiences. Like, okay, I'm going to start on this. The Phoenix Picture House is like the biggest independent cinema in Oxfordshire, let alone Oxford City. It was an absolute joyful, such a great experience to actually walk on that red carpet and watch the premiere of Turn It Up. I still have in my little CV portfolio of the little... Tickets which said, um, you are now viewing Turn It Up. It was such a great experience just to go into that cinema, sit in the front row and just stand up and speak and say, this is my film, Turn It Up. Such a great experience and I will always remember that. And from then, that was probably the best day of my life. Um, did this experience make you push on, well, make you want to push on more with your film directing career? That film absolutely was my biggest stepping stone to do much more that allowed me to say I've got confidence I've got the abilities I can do so much and I will do it I will promise you that from this from then on this is the beginning film that you can show of Karim Khan I'm not being obnoxious but that, that's how I felt okay thank you Karim Now, the UK Youth Parliament, Karem, a significant moment, isn't it? What made you decide to enter the UK Youth Parliament? The UK Youth Parliament is also a big thing. I wanted... I never actually realised my political side. You know, this technical film guy, this director with a clapperboard. That's what I thought of myself. I never thought that I could go political and actually stand up and speak. I never thought of that. But I realised... I had something to say. I had about ten different issues. I was sick of university fees, I was sick of bus fares, I was sick of how young people were so... didn't have any passion. I wanted to enforce that into a political position and that's what made me want to be part of it. And it was a, such a great initiative. Such a great initiative. Okay, what effect did it have on your personal life? Like I said, it kind of made a little part of me. It made a part of me which says, I have a voice. I'm opinionated. I have something to say about so many difficult 
big issues. And that made me go on to more that we will talk about in the interview. But that was such a big effect. It made me want to do so much more. And maybe I might become the Prime Minister. So, what, what, going back to the previous stuff, what you've just said. Yeah. How does the UK Youth Parliament affect young people, particularly politics? Because, I mean, it's a big subject, let's be honest. Um, what are your views? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the UK Youth Parliament, I think, doesn't doesn't give the microphone to young people and say, here you go. I, from my experience, there's a lot of skills young people learn. Communication skills, debating skills... Campaigning skills, that's what I learnt the most. I don't know whether you recently saw the House of Commons, young people taking over the House of Commons. I think I did, That was yeah. a brilliant experience, and that made me just want to stand again for the next election. Just to go and sit on that green bench. That's, that just made me want to do it. But I said, no, you've got your A-levels. But like, what I want to say is that I think, for me in particular, I don't know whether it affects any other people um, in the county or whatever, but I think the UK Youth Parliament, what it did to me was, it gave me the skills, it gave me the resources, it gave me all of them little things that I can build my own, my own structure. So once I've actually done the UK Youth Parliament, I can actually stand up and say, I don't need you anymore. You know, you can you can go and help another young person. I'm done, and I want to do something myself. I want to do something bigger. I want to do something that you inspired me to do. I don't think, you know, some MYPs, they just stand again and again and again. And I just want to say to them, S you've had your time, let another young person have a go. But no, I think the UK Youth Parliament, for me, has given me the confidence, given me so many skills just to get up and do my own stuff. Just before I become a Hollywood director. For every single person watching this up and down the country, maybe even all around the world, what is the Youth Pod? The Youth Pod. The Youth Pod is brilliant. That's all I can say. The name, what do you think it means? The first bit, Youth. What do you think that means? Again, same with your film. It's about youth. It's about the younger generation. That's what it is. Everything that I do is to do with youth. Because I think youth aren't represented well in the media. Do you watch Question Time, Big Questions, anything yeah, to do with debating? Like yeah, they're, they're always with like, these adult MPs. Big, you never big see, old people. Yeah, you never see like younger people like our age going on. Is this... This really, really annoys me. I hate watching... Big politicians, celebrities and journalists. That's the three big th people that I hate watching on debating shows. What do they know about what... What do they know about things that affect everyone? Especially young people. What do politicians know about university fee caps? Apart from actually rising the thing, what do they know about it? I did a recent youth pod, um thing for young people and I'll go on to what the youth pod actually is but I did a recent um, pilot and I got three young people together to debate um, an issue and that was was it right to lift the university fee cap and all th four of them said yes it was um, so the youth pod is a very m futuristic way it gives young people the opportunity to come round a table and debate about issues. They're not issues like, oh, so what do you want on your school meal then? No, it isn't. It's not nothing to do with children. It's like, uh, po po political, philosophical, religious, things like, has abortion changed the meaning of life? You know, things like that. Really deep issues that young people can actually get up and talk about. So that's what it is, and they'll all be online on youthpod.org.uk, a website sharing all the youth pods for young people, and then that's the second bit. Young people can watch them and debate and talk about what they think they mean. Now, now how did you come up with the original idea? Because it, it must have been from imagination, I, I guess. Yeah, you're right, you're absolutely right. Imagination. I just, I, I don't know where I was, but I was probably walking with, you know, really bored or something. When I get bored, I get ideas. When I've got nothing on my plate, I get ideas. 
and I think it was the GCSE period, when I said, youth, pod, young people debating round on the television show online. I came up with a strap line, and now we're doing it. That's how I came up with it, and like I said, I hate the way young people aren't represented well in the media. Um, how do you receive funding for the youth pod then? Um, that's quite a good question because in two f in August, um, I said, okay, I finished my GCSEs and now I'm going to make youth pod happen. I was really excited and you probably know that when I get really excited, I get really passionate and I get really, you know, I really love something so much. Um, so the youth pod was my big project. It was, okay, I've done turn it up, put it on the shelf. Now I want youth pod to go right next to it. This is my big project. And this is what the press is going to say. This is what they're going to ask me.